Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate uh, trigonometric functions, okay? So, uh, let me title this integration trigonometric functions. Let's take a red pen and a ruler, underline this. So first of all, let me quote the standard results, okay? And let me also number them. So number one, so whenever you integrate sine x with respect to x, so the integration of sine x, that is minus cos x plus c, okay? Let me number this result number two. So if you integrate cos x with respect to x, Integration of cos is plus sine x plus c. Number three, if you integrate tan x with respect to x, integration of tan is minus ln the modulus of cos x plus c. Okay. Uh, result number four, whenever you integrate um, cot x, with respect to x. When you integrate cot, it's ln, the modulus of sine x plus c. Okay? Uh, result number five, when you integrate uh, sec squared x with respect to x, you should have tan x plus c. Okay? Uh, result number six, when you integrate sec x tan x with respect to x, you're going to have sec x plus c as the result. Okay. Result number seven, when you integrate cosec x cot x with respect to x, the result in this instant is minus cosec x plus c. And finally, a result number eight, when you integrate cosec squared x with respect to x, you should get minus cot x plus c. Okay, so here are the eight standard results. So the integration of sine, cos, tan, cot, sec squared, sec x tan x, cosec x cot x, and cosec squared x with respect to x. So based on these standard results, let me give you some related results. So these are additional related results which are based on these standard results, okay? So over on the reverse side, okay? So number one. Now if you integrate k sine ax plus b with respect to x, okay? So in this function, k, a, and b are all constants. So where k, a, and b are all constants. So if you integrate k sine ax plus b with respect to x, you should get k divided by a cos ax plus b plus c, okay? So this result can only be applied if k is a constant, so if k, a and b are all constants, and if the angle term here is a linear. So if the angle term is of the form ax plus b a linear, and provided that k is a constant, you can apply this result, okay? Now let me show you where this result comes from. Now in order to get this result, we get or prove this result using substitution, okay? So let me go over the proof of this result. So let me take that result here, so let me take that integral rather, k sine ax plus b with respect to x. Now, as I said, we need to substitution to derive this result, okay? And 
in step one, the substitution that we're going to use is u is equal to ax plus b. Okay, so remember the idea of substitution is to replace the existing terms x and dx by new terms u and du. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with substitution, uh, I did create a video on substitution and I provide uh, that video link in the description below. Okay, so here's step one. We're going to take our substitution u to be ax plus b, the angle term. In step number two, let's work out du over dx. So if we differentiate ax plus b, it's a, okay? And if we regard du over dx as a fraction, so if you think of it as a fraction, du is a dx, okay? Now, if we stop and think at this point, remember the idea of substitution, we need to replace the existing variables x and dx by new variables u and du. So if we go back to this integral here, okay, I can replace the ax plus b by u, so ax plus b is going to be replaced by u, okay, but I have a dx term over here. So we need to do something at this stage to replace that dx term. So currently over here, I have an a dx. So if we get rid of this a, so if I divide both sides of this equation by a, I can find an expression for dx so that we can replace the dx in this integral, okay? So if I divide both terms here by a, I'll have one over a du, that is dx, okay? So that takes us to step number three. So by substitution, we can replace, as I said, the ax plus b by u, and I can replace the dx here by one over a du, okay? So let's go through that step. So by substitution, so let's rewrite this integral. So dx is 1 over a du. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the k outside of this integral. So you can only take constants outside. So I'm going to take that k outside the integral. Okay. Remember, dx is 1 over a du. So I'm also going to take the 1 over a outside the integral also and keep the du inside. So du always goes inside. Okay. So dx has been replaced, so we can tick that. And we're left with an ax plus b term that's going to be replaced by u. So we're going to have sine of u within the integral. Okay? So k over a is a constant, and when you integrate sine, you're going to get minus cos. Okay? So in this case, you're going to get minus. I'm going to keep that minus there. Okay, so that should be a minus here. So I'm going to keep that minus outside. So minus cos of u plus c. Okay, so since we haven't, we don't have any limits in this integral, we need to add the constant of integration. And this takes us to the final step, step number four. So in step number four, we need to replace the u, okay, by our substitution. So let's write our answer in other words, back in terms of x. So since u over here is ax plus b, the final answer is going to be minus k over a cos u, which is ax plus b, plus c. Okay, so this is how that result uh, is derived. That result over here is derived using substitution. So I went through the steps for you uh, in order to derive that result, okay? Let me go through another related result. So these results are related to the standard results. So let's call this number two. So when we integrate k cos ax plus b with respect to x, okay? So again, k, a and b are all constants, we should have k 
divided by a, okay, sine ax plus b plus c. Okay, so this should be the result, and we can only use this result once again if k, a, and b are constants, and if the angle term is of the form ax plus b. Okay, let me go over the proof of this result here. So let me derive that result again using substitution. Okay, so in step number one, let's choose our substitution u to be ax plus b, the angle, okay? And let's take that in step number two and let's differentiate. So du over dx, when we differentiate, it's gonna be a, okay? Let's cross multiply, du is a dx. And if we have a little think here, looking at our integral that we have over here, okay? I can replace the ax plus b here by u, but we need to replace dx here by a term. So far we have a dx. So I'm gonna get rid of that a here by dividing both sides by a. So if I divide both sides by a, one over a du will be dx. So that takes us to step number three. So by substitution, we can replace the dx now by one over a du and the ax plus b by u, okay? So by substitution. So let's rewrite this integral here. So dx is one over a, so I'm gonna keep the one over a outside and also I'm gonna take the constant outside also so as before, I'm taking out k over a and keeping the du as you normally do inside your integral. So du always goes inside your integral. And I'm left with a cos ax plus b, which is replaced by u. So if we integrate, we're going to have k over a. Integration of cos is plus sign u plus c. And that takes us to the last step, step number four. So let's rewrite this answer back in terms of x. So let's replace the u by ax plus b. So since u is ax plus b, final answer is going to be k over a sine u, which is ax plus b plus c. So this is how the result is, is derived. Now, I'm not gonna derive the remaining results, so I'm just going to quote them, okay? So you can repeat the same steps in order to derive the results. So I'm just gonna quote them. So let me explain by quoting this third related standard result. So if we integrate k tan ax plus b with respect to x, so once again, k, a, and b are constants, and you can only use this result if the angle here is a linear. So if the angle is of the form ax plus b, okay? So don't learn results. So learn what the result is trying to say. So if you memorize the standard results, well, you would know that the integration of tan is minus ln cos. So it's gonna be a minus k, ln, the modulus of cos, ax plus b. And then you divide by, so you need to divide by the derivative of ax plus b. So when you differentiate ax plus b, you get a, okay? So you need to divide by the derivative of ax plus b, and then add c. So don't memorize results, just learn what the result is trying to say. So these results are saying, provided that you memorize the standard result, however, so going back to result two here, so if you integrate cos, you know it's plus sine, so it's a k sine ax plus b, but you need to divide by the derivative of ax plus b 
and then add a C since you've got no limits. Okay. So let's practice with the next result, result number four. So if you integrate k cot ax plus b with respect to x. Okay, so let's think about this result. So k, a and b are all constants, so that's okay. The angle is of the form ax plus b, so that's okay as well. So when I integrate cot, we know it's ln modulus of sine. So it's going to be a k ln modulus of sine ax plus b divided by, so you need to divide by the derivative of ax plus b. So when you differentiate ax plus b, that is a, and then add c. Okay? So that is the result for this integral here. Let's practice with another one, number five. Okay? When we integrate k sec squared ax plus b with respect to x. So k, a and b are constants. The angle is of the form ax plus b, so we're okay. So we're going to have k, keep that as it is, that's a constant. When you integrate sex squared, it's tan, so it's tan ax plus b, divided by the derivative of ax plus b, so when you differentiate ax plus b, it's a, so it's k over a, and then add a c. Okay, let's practice with another one, number six. Okay, so if we integrate k sec ax plus b tan ax plus b with respect to x. So once again, k, a and b are constants, the angles of the form ax plus b, so we're okay, okay? So in this case, when you integrate sec x tan x, the standard result, it's sec x, so it's k sec ax plus b, in this case, divided by the derivative of ax plus b, which is a, add c, okay? Let's have a go at another one, number seven. When we integrate k uh, cosec ax plus b cot ax plus b with respect to x. So k, a and b are all constants. The angles of the form ax plus b. So it's going to be k divided by the derivative of ax plus b, which is a. Integration of cosec, cosec x cot x is minus cosec, so it's a minus cosec ax plus b, add c, okay? And uh, finally, number eight, so let's just complete this. So if we integrate, okay, k cosec squared ax plus b with respect to x, k, a and b are constants again. The angle is of the, of the form ax plus b. So in this case, minus k over a, cot ax plus b, add c, okay? So don't learn results, so don't memorize results, so just learn what the result is trying to say, okay? So I would say if you wanna learn results, learn the standard results, okay? So let's go over some examples. But before we start with the first example, I must stress that to apply these standard related results, k, a and b should be constants and the angles should be of the form ax plus b, okay? So if that is the case, you're able to use these standard related results, okay? So let's practice with an example one. So example one, let's integrate. And in part A, let's integrate 
5 sine 3x. So 5 sine 3x. Okay? So first check is 5, which is our k, uh, ax plus b, which is 3x. So k, a, and b are constants. Our angle is of the form ax plus b. So we're all good to use uh, the standard related result. So it's going to be 5, which is k, divided by a, which is 3. Okay? Um, so when you integrate sine, remember it's minus cos, so it's minus a cos ax plus b, which is 3x plus c, since we have no limits. Okay? So we could write that as minus 5 by 3 cos 3x add c. Okay? So remember it's k divided by the derivative of ax plus b. So when you differentiate 3x, it's 3. When you integrate sine, it's a minus cos. And don't forget to add c since you have no limits. Okay? Let's try another one. So let's integrate um, 7 cos 3x minus 1. So let's check what we have. So k is 7, k is a constant, that's okay. Our angle is of the form ax plus b, so our angle is a linear, so that's okay as well. So it's going to be 7, when I integrate cos, it's sine, so it's 7 sine, 3x minus 1. Don't forget to divide by, when we differentiate 3x minus 1, it's 3 and then add c since we have no limits. So the answer for this one is 7 over 3 sine 3x minus 1 add c. So let's try another one, part c, one more. So let's integrate uh, 2 sec 2x plus 1 tan 2x plus 1. So in this case, k is a constant, so k is 2, that's a constant, so that's okay. The angles are the same, so the angles are the same, they're both 2x plus 1, and they're of the form ax plus b, so that's all good. So we can use our um, standard related result. So it's going to be 2. When I integrate sec x tan x, it's sec 2x plus 1 in this case, divided by the derivative of 2x plus 1, which is 2, add c, since we have no limits. Okay. So we can simplify this one. These two will cancel we should have sec 2x plus 1 at c, okay?